Welcome, my name's Jerry Entrican. I'm a senior applications engineer at Andrews Cooper. So today I'm going to talk a bit about machine vision and how we integrate that with robotics. And part of what I want to do is talk about specification development and also talk about a practical example. Um, for client confidentiality, we can't talk about many of the products that we've done in the past that are really exciting. But we can talk in general means, and so I'm going to come up with an example project that everyone can relate to and how we would approach doing a concept and integrating vision with that pro program. So if I'm looking for help making a peanut butter sandwich machine, my requirements might include the following. The ability to use an entire loaf of bread. Being able to select between wheat bread and white bread. The uniform distribution of peanut butter and jam over the surfaces of two pieces of bread. The quantity of peanut butter and jam the coverage of that layer of peanut butter and jam on my bread, the alignment of the two pieces when I put them together, um, how often I want to replenish my machine. Perhaps we need to replenish it once an hour or maybe once a day, depending on your labor, requir labor requirements. <clears throat> and the ability to, how many sandwiches an hour do I need to be able to create from my machine? There are many other possibilities, but this is just a concrete example of how we might specify what we need for our machine. How will our components be introduced into the system? Uh, the best option, I think, would be bulk feeding slices of bread into the system by a bin picking operation. So an operator will dump loaves of bread into a bin and we'll use a 3D camera to establish where those pieces are and they'll be picked from the bin with a robot and placed in a, in a sandwich making nest. How will the components be moved through the system? In this case, I think a cost effective solution would be to use a rotary dial. The robot will bin pick pieces of bread, place them on the dial, and they'll be indexed to the next station where the peanut butter and jelly will be applied. How will completed components be removed from the system? A robot will place the completed sandwich onto an output conveyor, which will feed a flow wrapper that will wrap the sandwiches and label their ex expiration date. <clears throat> uh, what feeding techniques best match the application requirements? As I said already, bread will be picked from a bin. Peanut butter and jam will be fed from a pressurized barrel. They'll also be fed with a volumetric, uh, volumetric feed head so that we can con precisely control the amount of peanut butter and the amount of jelly that we're supplying. And the robot will have two dispense nozzles on its end of arm tool. And possibly we'll need to heat the peanut butter in order to get um, the viscosity low enough that it'll be easy to, to pump. Uh, which motion system uh, meets our needs? The multi-robot system will meet cycle time and motion requirements, but we'll probably need a, a high-end PLC to operate it. Uh, so in review of this example from our specification, we now have a practical concept for a peanut butter jelly making, sandwich making machine, a two robot dial based system, which uses machine vision for picking bread slices, 3D scanning the bread slices to provide feedback to the robot. I, I, I jumped over one step, but when we pick up a heel, it won't be flat anymore. And when we try to dispense, every 12-year-old knows that if you rub too hard with peanut butter on their bread, you're going to tear it, and that's no good. No one likes that. So it's critical that, we're out, that we can contour the surface of the piece of bread and understand where it exists in dimensional space so when the robot comes to lay the peanut butter on it, it can do it at exactly the right heights so our layer of peanut butter and our layer of jam is on the bread, but it doesn't tear it, um, which causes quality problems for the people down the line. There's a lot of questions to be answered relative to your specification, and Andrews Cooper will be here to help you answer those questions and to follow through with designing, building, and implementing an automation that meets all of your requirements. Thank you.